Can I turn this cat keyboard into the ultimate gaming keyboard? Let's find out. So this is one of those like cat pianos that you can find for like toddlers or six month olds. They're pretty cheap around like $13. There's not really much to it. They typically have like two different volumes, piano mode, a cat meowing mode, and then a song mode that plays all sorts of different songs. So that got me thinking, what if we could use this as a computer keyboard? So you could just, you know, walk up, plug in your keyboard, and then you could, bam, play games, any game, with a cat keyboard. Now this could work by using something called a microcontroller. I'm going to specifically use something called the Arduino. It's pretty cheap, and they aren't very hard to find. You could just Google it and usually find them on the internet. So what this is going to do is it's going to take the inputs of the buttons from the cat keyboard and then it's going to translate those into keyboard keys and the microcontroller is going to send stuff to the computer and make the computer think it's an actual keyboard but first we have to hook this thing up and see what's inside so we can figure out how we're going to hook this up to the arduino now this took a little while so i'm going to speed things up a little bit Oh, jeez. Yeah, that had that new factory smell. So, now that we've opened it up, we can see that the buttons are made of some sort of silicon. Now, there is only one issue with the way it's set up right now. The board that is in the cat keyboard sends out a signal to all of the buttons. It's just a generic high symbol, which just means it runs power in it constantly. Whenever you press down the button, it sends power back into the board into a different pin for each button and then from there it knows what button you pressed and then it plays the sound now the arduino works in reverse where instead of adding a current of electricity to every single button and trying to run that through over and over again it's actually grounded where it takes in electricity so each different button gets their own current from the Arduino that the Arduino transmits into the buttons. And when you press it down, it grounds. Now the Arduino sees that electricity is leaving the board through that pin, and then it knows what button you've pressed down. This should not be much of a problem though. All I gotta do is see if I can run it backwards. First, I need to cut out some wires. So let's go ahead and do that with a little bit of editing magic. After I cut out these wires, I actually realized during soldering that some of them were a little bit too short and didn't quite reach, so I had to solder on some extensions and cut some new ones to replace the ones that did not end up fitting. However, that's all I actually have time for for this episode. There will be a part two coming out where I actually put it together and start testing it. Sorry this got so delayed, I ended up getting sick with something and then from that cold I actually got a sinus infection. Yeah, no, right, fun. Yeah, that was not, not a good week at all. Um, and then there were also other things I was working on, like improving how I make my videos, and also spending time editing stuff. So, catch you guys in the next video, and see ya.